I'm grateful once again for your time there. Let's start with the energy issue. Now, Ghana Gas Company Limited has backtracked on attacks it unleashed on the Minister of Power for blaming them for the current load shedding the country is experiencing. The company had rejected claims suggesting it is the cause of the issue because it shut down its Atwabo facility. According to the Ghana Gas Company, it shut down the facility at Atwabo on the assistance of the Volta River Authority to allow the African American or African Middle East Investment Power Plant to be connected to the supply of gas from Ghana Gas. A statement signed by the Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Gas Company Limited, Dr. George Sipa Yankee, said the company, due to the works ongoing on their Mary plant, ceased processing and supply of gas to the Abwazi Thermal Plant on November 23, 2015. He said the move is to protect the integrity of ongoing works and the facilities of both the VRE and Ghana Gas, and also to ensure the safety of VRE and Ghana gas engineers who are working on the project there at Atwabo in the western region. Right, so uh, that's the story so far. But let's speak to the chief executive officer of the Ghana gas company, uh, uh, Dr. George Sipayanki, he's just joined me on phone. Uh, Doc, we're grateful for your time tonight. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank mm. you very much. Okay. So, uh, le let's start from here. What is the current situation as far as what is going on there is concerned? Uh, you mean at the, uh, the power enclave in Abuazi? Exactly. Oh, yes. Uh, Works are ongoing. And... Uh, uh, they have finished with the uh, cutting of the pipeline, and then they've teed it, they've rolled it and finished and joined it to the Amari uh, plant. And uh, now, uh, uh, today, they were doing the installation of the valves. So hopefully when that is finished, uh, they will uh, vent the pipeline and clear it of all debris. And after that, the other guys will be given the green light to start uh, to resume uh, the supply of uh, uh, of gas to mm. so to, to we can uh, we can rest fully assure ourselves that uh, between tomorrow and Friday, uh, what you're talking about could be done. I I believe that in the next few days, uh, uh, the the you know Ghana gas should be able to resume uh, supply of gas to to Abuazi plant. But that will depend on the green light we get from the VRA. If tonight the VRA tells us that we supply them gas, we are ready to supply them with the gas. Are you able to tell us uh, p precisely what you mean by next few days, uh, two days, three days, four days? You know, VRA uh, and our engineers, Ghanagas engineers, are really uh, the engineers executing this project. And VRA is playing the connecting role. So they will be in a better position to give us a specific or a particular or definite uh, date of what will be finished, the work will be finished. But I'm very confident that uh, uh, later sometime next week, Ghana Gas should resume the supply of gas to Abwazi. Mm. Uh, and so we, we can't talk of Monday? Uh, it is possible, but I have to clear that for the VRA to know exactly when are they going to do the venting of the pipeline, clean it, and then give us a green light. As I said, if you get a green light tonight, there will be gas uh, uh, that will supply to Abuazi. Before we talk about what happened between Ghana Gas and the, the Power Ministry, some have said that the, the poor communication, uh, if they want to describe it as a, a method of uh, either the Ghana Gas or the, the Power Ministry, seem to be confused confusing consumers. How would you react to that? Well, yes, I agree that maybe there's a problem of uh, poor communication between the Ministry of Power and Ghana Gas. That, that, uh, that I think I concede. Uh, I don't think that was deliberate. Uh, I don't think consumers should be, should be uh, confused about that because the, the thrust of uh, both messages, of both, uh, both press releases is that works are ongoing, 
engineers are working around the clock and are working to finish the project as soon as possible. And that uh, all the all the materials have been supplied and what is going on. That's exactly what the power ministry said. Mm. That's what exactly the, 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 the Ghana Gas Press League also said. So I don't think the public should get confused. The most important thing is that the work should be undertaken and finished for power, for gas to resume, gas supply to resume, to enable the budget plant to be able to commence generation of power with gas from trouble. Are you suggesting that we could not have prepared the minds of consumers that we're going to intensify the load shedding in order to tie in the, uh, the tubes of uh, the Ameri plant into uh, the main gas system? Couldn't we have done that? No, you know, I can see it. We could have done it easily. You know, if this were to be sort of in a, you know, in a, in a, in a, uh, you know, under control, we would have done that. It was, you know, I mean, the works had been managed by VRA. We went to support them. Mm. So you were expecting that, uh, having informed us that uh, uh, we should see supply of gas, we had believed wrongly that uh, maybe some announcements would be made much earlier before Monday when the problem actually started. You know, so I agree. Uh, the public ought to have been informed earlier to be, uh, so that to be aware that that was going to happen. And all this confusion will not have a reason. The, the Ghana Gas Company and the Power Ministry, I, I guess, are uh, in a cordial relationship. Is that how you describe what exists between the two of them? That's very correct. As a matter of fact, when the first uh, uh, press release was issued by the Minister of Power, I had a chat with the, the, the minister, or the Honorable Minister, and, he had, and we had agreed that it was even talk to his director to clarify the press release that was issued. Unfortunately for me, before we could uh, lay hands on him, uh, I also had come out and I had difficulty also getting my PR to wait for the clarification from the minister. I would have preferred that the minister have done the clarification. But it appeared that, uh, you know, we were not lucky to mm. have had that, 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 that chance. So as CEO, I thought he come out and clarify the air uh, and let people know that, uh, look, the good work you see, and one of the reasons that I came out of that, so much good work is being done together between the Ministry of Power, VRA, and Yanagas. And this confusion seems to cloud and bury the excellent collaborative work being undertaken by both VRA and Yanagas. And also, we didn't also want this confusion to also cloud and bury the entire effort of His Excellency the President and Honorable Minister of Power in working earnestly to resolve this power crisis. Mm. I think that uh, we needed to bring that to the fore instead of burying it in that confusion. And, and so, uh, uh, Dr. Yankee, let me ask you this. This whole issue uh, that has happened, uh, could we have avoided it? Oh, it was, it was, it was actually a little unnecessary. You know, uh, I hope that... Uh, you know, uh, as, as as you progress, we learn, and then uh, uh, these things should happen again. I mean, as a fact, ideally, as we have agreed, we ought to have sent out a press release much earlier, even before the commencement of the works. But we had believed that this was in the domain of the Ministry of Power and the VRA. Mm -hmm. That's why is not happening. Normally, when we are going to shut down for maintenance work, we send uh, out a usual press release to inform the public. And we saw that was going to happen. But apparently, it didn't happen. And I don't want to uh, sort of uh, uh, pass on blame to anybody. Mm. Next time, we'll work together to avoid the occurrence of uh, this particular uh, problem. Okay. Let's quickly address this concerns because uh, uh, some uh, public discourse has been talking about it. Now, the Ameri plant uh, tying in into the, uh, the national gas transmission system, what does it mean for... Ghana Gas Company, as far as production in terms of the quantity of gas, is concerned. I'm asking you this because some have said that um, the gas, the amount of gas you're producing, is unable to feed uh, the Ameri plant. Well, you know, right now we are in the middle of the supply chain. Mm. Uh, Talo gives us the gas, and then we process the gas, and then with regards to uh, VRA. Now, the maximum capacity of the uh, FPSO 
Kwame Nkrumah, it's 120 million standard cubic of gas per day. And that is the maximum that Talo can give to Ghana Gas. I know that some works are uh, being undertaken to increase our capacity to about 140, 160 million tons. But for now, we only receive 120. And we process 120 and are able to transmit to VRA 115 million standard cubic of gas per day. And for information, VRA before the, the shutdown, was generating 650 megawatts of power from a trouble uh, gas. So we will continue to supply VRA with the 115 million scarves until the law increases its supply to us for us to increase the supply. So we shall supply VRA with that amount of gas, and VRA will then manage the gas that is supplied for its plants in Abuazi. Uh, and so you, you're, you're insisting that uh, the Ameri plant will not have any impact on how much you produce, how much it is, is transmitted? No, that's what I'm saying. The Ameri plant is going to generate additional 250 megawatts of power. When you add that to the 650 that was before, you're going to get 900 uh, megawatts of power. That is going to reduce quite substantially the power challenges that you have right now. So I'm not saying, I'm saying, and I repeat that, um, the Mary plant will make a big contribution to the resolution of the crisis that you're currently uh, undergoing. Uh, are you able to, for instance, reaffirm uh, the fact that by the end of December, uh, we might have been able to reduce uh, 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 this load shedding to perhaps a very uh, minimal levels. Are you able to affirm that? You know, uh, we as General Gas will do everything to support the efforts of the Minister of Power to uh, reduce the load shedding. But taking, uh, but, you know, taking into account the tireless effort of the, of the President to solve this problem, taking into account the tireless effort of the Honorable Minister, and with support from agencies like us and VRA, I'm very confident, very, very confident that the power crisis will be, will be reduced, uh, the power crisis will be managed, and the current deficit will be reduced quite considerably so that the low shedding exercise that you're currently facing or undergoing will also uh, you know, be reduced so that at least the Indians will begin to have light for a much longer time than we are doing now. Mm. Uh, uh, from the way you're talking, I, I have the impression uh, you will not hesitate to put your head on the block if, if, you, if you had to, as far as uh, uh, reducing the low shedding is concerned. You know, uh, before uh, uh, the completion of Talos uh, repair works on the APSO, mm. you weren't getting 120 million scarves of gas per day. After the repair works, we are getting consistently 120, and that itself has made a very big uh, impact on the power situation right now. And I know that VRA, the T1 and T2, has also, have also been operating very uh, efficiently. Uh, even right now, with the combined cycle uh, turbine running, they are not doing 650 mil, uh, in megawatts of power from the, only the 115 uh, 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 million scrap of cash per day. Mm. So with additional fuel for Mary, additional fuel for the, uh, the, the new plant that will come in, the car power, I believe that uh, you will, if you, if you can resolve the problem completely, you will be able to reduce quite considerably uh, the current uh, load shedding exercise. Dr. Sibayanki, I'm grateful for your time tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm, and he is the chief executive of the Ghana Gas Company Limited, Dr. Uh, George Sipayanki.